Right now, Eli Lilly is holding an event to highlight accomplishments made to increase diversity and inclusion in the workplace and in the community. Karen Campbell joins us live from their headquarters right now. And Karen, Lilly has made some accomplishments and understand that they really want to focus on helping the community more. Tell me what you've learned. Yeah, well, Anne-Marie and Felicia, this event is called Pledge to Progress, and it kicked off about an hour ago. The program portion of this piece just ended moments ago. Now, the goal here for Eli Lilly has been bringing together corporate and community partners to help support racial justice across communities here in Indianapolis. Eli Lilly made a commitment in 2020 to focus on racial inequality in equity rather and social injustice. Now they focused on areas like education, health, professional outcomes for black Americans. I spoke with Terry Morris. He's the associate vice president for racial justice commitment here at Lilly. He talked about several initiatives in place, including one called Skills First at Lilly. Take a listen. That's our ability to enable more family sustaining jobs for people who do not have a four-year degree program. It's a part of our 110 commitment, but we've actually pursued this in a broader aperture where we're opening up our doors to other black and minorities who do not have four-year degrees. And we've done that to the tune of 70 plus individuals to date. Now, Morris says in the next two years, Eli Lilly wants to create 200 job opportunities for people that have historically lacked access to higher education or professional jobs. And they also released this. This is their 2022 progress report, something they've been working on for the past two years. And you can find a copy of this progress report. We'll post that later for you on our website, WTHR.com. Reporting live tonight, Karen Campbell, 13 News.